You ever hit that go live button and you wonder to yourself, the heck is my hair trying to do right now? Is it just me? No, that's not really what this video is about. Today we're going to discuss how I do my most commented on feature of my stream on Twitch, which is uh, the background that you see before you, specifically that TV right there. Um, this is, uh, I don't stream in the room that you see in front of you. Here is, uh, I'm going to break the magic down. It's all a green screen. Welcome to Gen X Gaming. And before we get started, I just want to remind you that if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and share the video. So when people first come into my stream, one of the first things they say is that they really like the look of this particular scene on my Twitch stream. They uh, they love the they love the room, they love the camera, and I'm just like, yeah, well, this is, none of it's actually there. Uh, obviously, uh, as I showed earlier, this is a green screen effect. Uh, so uh, as far as how I did it, first and foremost, this room is just a still image. That TV right there is not even on. But we're going to get to that in just a minute. So for this image, I literally just walked up my stairs with an iPhone. And I took a picture of the game room upstairs. I put it into some photo editing software, in this case, Affinity Photo. And I added a slight blur effect and a color correction to make it purple because let's be real, anyone that has ever seen my channel will tell you I am somewhat obsessed with the color purple. And I just pop it behind the green screen filter and there you go. And I actually went with this for a while. Uh, and then I was like, I wanna put something on that TV back there. So this is what I did. Uh, for this effect to have uh, the video file where I put highlights of my own Twitch channel behind me. And I also have the, uh, the random clip generator for shout outs come up behind me. It's the same effect for both of them. For the highlight reel of my clips, what I did was I downloaded a bunch of my clips from Twitch that I wanted to be featured. I put them all in one folder. And then I downloaded Two things which are essential to this tutorial. Now, number one, this tutorial will not apply to Streamlabs OBS because uh, Streamlabs OBS cannot use the plugins that I am talking about. This is specifically for OBS Studio. You have to download the VLC video player and you have to download a plugin called Stream Effects. Links are down below. Now, when you click on download, it will take you to this page. Make sure that you get a stable production release and not a testing release. So if it says this is a testing release, go to this link. You can find the latest production release here. Click on that, and then you will get the latest stable re release of Stream Effects. VLC Video Player will allow you to add a source of uh, a, a VLC video playlist. And the Stream Effects will allow you to do a 3D transform. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, I have to put this in studio mode so that it doesn't look like this with a crazy streamception and uh, you'll be able to see it just a little bit better. So we're gonna go over here, pay attention to the left side of the window. I'm gonna create a new scene, just a new blank scene. So we'll we'll just call that scene two. Great, it's, it's totally black now, there's nothing in it. And we're going to add an image so in this case, I'm just gonna add the image that I already have for my just chatting scene, which is Game Room HD. And you'll see this, it's, a, it's just a purple version of the room. So now for the cool part of this tutorial, we're gonna add a VLC video playlist. So go down, add a source, go to VLC video source. We are going to call this test. Make sure it's visible. Okay. Loop, shuffle. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to always play even when not visible. But otherwise, I think stop when not visible is probably the uh, the best bet. And we're going to add a directory. So in this case, I've already got mine set up to my gamer stuff. And we're going to go to VODs for video highlight vids. Boom. Select the folder. 
and okay. And now you have this going on. After you've added your VLC video playlist, you're going to want to add a filter. So we're going to go over here, right click the VLC video source, click on filters, and then we've got the 3D transform here. I'm going to go ahead and just re-add that so you guys can see it in action. All right. So uh, primarily, the biggest mistake I make is I forget to change the camera from orthographic to perspective. This is going to significantly change the uh, your options here and your ability to make this look right. Um, you're not going to worry about position so much, but pitch, yaw, roll, scale, and shear are going to be very important. Now, each of these does something different. The pitch... tilts it vertically like this. The yaw rotates it on the hor on the uh, vertical axis there. And the roll, well, it, it rolls it. Scale will, just like it sounds, but you're only affecting one aspect of the scale at a time. And then we get to shear. Shear's kind of fun because it keeps like uh, one pair of the edges parallel while it moves the other set. So kind of this trapezoid effect here going on. The X keeps the top and bottom edges parallel and the Y keeps the left and right edges parallel. I'm not going to bore you with all of the uh, me figuring out exactly what the dimensions are, but what I'm doing here is I'm changing all of the rotation on the vertical horizontal axes, making it better fit the size of the TV. The scale scrunches it vertically and horizontally, and the shear makes it the correct shape. Then I'm going to go up to the field of view after I get it aligned, and I'm just going to basically zoom out so that it fits the TV in the picture. Now, it's still a little bit too um, too clear for the room. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a blur effect. I'm gonna change that to ghost in there. And just until it, uh, just until it looks right. Ta-da! All right, we're gonna go ahead. We are going to get back in here. Take off studio mode. And there you have it. Nothing to it. The biggest problem, uh, I think the biggest difficulty with this is figuring out what the the pitch, the yaw, the roll, the shear, the scale, all of that does. Uh, so play around with that. I have my settings saved, uh, but the, uh, the pitch, the yaw, and the roll are all like changing it this way, whereas the shear will allow you to keep the, the parallel lines while changing the sides or vice versa, it will allow you to keep these while changing those like that. And I get to Vogue on camera. Uh, and then the scale is just squishing either way. And uh, that is that. Play around with the settings until you find something. I find that uh, uh, the biggest problem that I have with this plugin, I always forget to change it to perspective as opposed to orthographic. And if you find this video helpful, again, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And if you want to talk about it, I stream uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 11 a.m. EST and 9 p.m. EST right here on twitch.tv slash Wolverine Guy Kev. I do a lot of just chatting and I'd love to just uh, talk about tech stuff, geek stuff, uh, pro wrestling, and pretty much anything that pops into my head. So until next time, you all stay safe.